So, here I was, newly arrived in Skyrim. They say Morrowind is inhospitable, but Skyrim has its own kind of inhospitability. Dunmer here are not especially welcome, as I found, arriving in Windhelm. But I have a mission. A mission to bring honor to my queen, Mephala, and to restore my name, which was shattered with my fail. I was born in the family, the family being a breakaway group from the Morag Tong. So we did not operate within the law. And uh, when I failed and did not kill my target, but was caught, there was no protection for me. The family disowned me and left me to rot in prison for years, bitter years. So when I finally got out, I decided I needed to do something special, something unheard of, something that would make this all worth it. Mephala has her ways. She spins her web and we mortals can only guess what it is that she has in store for us. But yes, she may lead us through difficulties, but I think there is a fate for me waiting here in Skyrim. I heard of an object devoted to Mephala, said to be somewhere in Skyrim, and I intend to find it. So here I am. The years in prison have not been kind to me. I will need to relearn some skills. I will need to learn some new skills. Build up my abilities so I can be prepared for my task if Mephala deems me worthy. So to start out, we will need to generate some money. And um, I have some ideas about that. <laughs> of course, being uh, an illegal assassin, we will not join any of the official organizations in this country. No. No fighters guild, no thieves guild. No Sorcerer's Guild. If they found out who I was, they would not welcome me. So we will be mostly on our own. Although we will try to befriend useful people that may help us on our path. Now this city is cold in more than one way. And yes, of course, we worship Mephala, the web spinner. And uh, hopefully she will help us with remaining undetected when we need to kill with um, improving our poisons 
so we may kill effectively. And it may seem strange that I am wearing a two-handed sword with me. But yes, a Dunmer has got to do what a Dunmer has got to do. And this is the best weapon I could lay my hands on before I left Morrowind. An ancient warrior's sword. And I kind of like it. It speaks to me. Unlike the usual dagger that needs correct placement, swift action, the right poisons, remaining unseen, which can be a problem, as my earlier experience has taught me. A two-handed blade can put a more definite stop to a target's movements. So this is my chosen weapon. You're a war hero, Bronwolf. Ulfric will listen to you. It's not that simple. Ulfric wants Skyrim for the Nords. He doesn't trust what he calls outsiders. Yeah, I am an You've outsider. Seen how Got so, something for just about everybody in here. Ulfric, the, holler, the leader of the Nords here, he started a civil war, which may be to our advantage. But at least here we have a fellow Dunmer. All my goods are legitimate, which is more than I can say for some. Certainly. Uh, who supplies your goods? I've scraped this collection together by whatever means I could. Whatever I do means, some right? business with the trade caravans, and I've picked up a number of items from adventurers like yourself. Mm -hmm. A few intrepid souls even brought some items back from Morvenskar, the fort southwest of the city. Interesting. Okay, what have you got for sale? Trinkets, odds and ends, that sort of thing. Okay. Uh, anything that would help us? Necklace of Hunger. Yeah, we do wear light armor, but we do not have the money to buy this. Maybe some uh, healing potions. Interesting. Do come again. I like to share my good fortune with those who deserve it. Right. All right then. Then uh, we will be back. The gray quarter of a gray city. Eat our food, you pollute our city with your stink, and you refuse to help the storm cooks. We have to take them aside because it's not our fight. Mm. Hey, maybe the reason these grayskins don't help in the war is because they're imperial spies. That's ridiculous. Name is new. You can't be serious. Oh. Great. Name is Vince. We got ways of finding out what you I'm, really uh, are. Wow, a new arrival. Oh. From Morrowind. It's quite cold, but let's see uh, if we can still gather some ingredients. Uh, yeah, 
Yes, maybe one day we'll own a horse. These blue mountain flowers are very hardy to be blooming in the snow. Maybe they'll make a good potion. You mind if I uh, pick some real top? No? Okay. Well, how could you say no to a man with a sword like this, eh? I was wondering if you had ordered the shipment of that frost Yeah, it's gonna have a cool seas have been sailors for generations. In truth, I regret not following in the footsteps of my ancestors. Oh, ancestors, eh? Yeah, well, I'm trying to follow, but so far we're not doing so good. Even the skies are dark in this snowy land. Like it's telling us, you are not welcome here. But we are not scared by darkness. We're quite used to that after our years in prison. What's here? It seems there is a, a little hamlet. Good day. Don't mind me. Just browsing around, collecting some ingredients. fire 
use some vegetables would be as good as well. Apparently nobody minds if I uh, take some. So we're no fan of these goods. Let's not start our uh, Skyrim story with getting in trouble with the law again. Oh, it is uh, dreadfully dark here. Hmm. Guess I will need to favorite some stuff. I think we've had the whole place. Oh, uh, someone is up there. How do we get there? You like working in the dark, Dravinia? An outsider? Uh huh. No reason to stop in Kynesgrove. Keep moving. All right. Um, what do you do in Kynesgrove? Nosy one, huh? Mm -hmm. I was a mage back in Morrowind. I lend my talents to the mines here, helping them keep the tunnels safe. By Azura, it gets hot in there. I use frost salts for a potion to keep the heat bearable, but I'm out. Ah, I see. Maybe I could find them for you? If you want to go to the trouble, feel free. I suppose I could offer you a bit of free alteration training when you get back. That uh, would be very interesting. Thank you. Until next time.
we don't know what awaits us here. But um, there's only one way to find out. It might be dangerous, but... Oh. That's life. What happened here? Looks like an accident. A giant with what? A giant double X? Yeah. Let's appear um, unmenacing. still alive. I am still alive. What is this place? Stay away from that. Oh, just a fox. Sisters. Hmm. Interesting.
It looks like there are a couple missing here. Seems to be a water mill over there. See uh, who lives here. Gilfrey. Here for work? Get an axe and bring me all the wood you can chop. Okay. Um, well. Axe. Wood. Axe. Here is wood. Can I chop some wood? Where can I chop wood? This may be simpler. Visible hammer, okay. All right, I chopped some wood. Gilfrey. 
I used to have five good men who worked the mill with me. Uh -huh. Then this war started and they all ran off. I see. Okay. I have firewood to sell. Honest gold for honest work. Great. Mm, yeah, mm-hmm. Uh-huh. Good to see you. Yes, good to see you too. Let me uh, rob your place. But would she have some tomatoes? Hey, someone had to take it, right? Yes, ex exactly. <coughs> so far. Uh, sorry. Um, that is marked as steel. Tomatoes, eh? Do you have any outside? Potatoes. No. Oh. That's that's something. Whoa. And there isn't anything else. Wait, there's another building over here. Your workers that you said all disappeared. So, who is this? Griffith told me not to talk to strangers. So why are you talking to me? We're already talking. That means I'm not a stranger. I guess that makes sense. Mm -hmm. Um, what are you two doing here? Griffith and I are playing hide and seek. I see. I love hide and seek. Can I play? Sure, but not till this game's finished. Uh -huh. Right now we're still hiding. The black and red monsters are seeking. Black and red monsters. Interesting. All right. Griffith, what's the meaning of life? Who well. says there has to be one? We're alive. Maybe that's enough. Tomatoes. That's what I came for. More tomatoes. That's impressed. No, not really. Emerald of Mara. Okay. No, I do not want the sex of flour. That's just too heavy. Something we won't use. Ah, lots of good ingredients here. Leave you two to it. And uh, go back to our new friend and see if we can use her uh, cooking pot. Hello, uh, Gilfrey. Hello, friend. Yeah, can I use that? Thank you. Okay, we want some vegetable soup. Good. And uh, what's the time? It's late afternoon. Um, would you mind if I take a nap? Because, uh, yeah, who knows where I'll next find a bed, right? So, that is uh, what we will do. Very friendly lady here. And uh, then uh, 
we'll continue our Skyrim adventures when we wake up.